Hello everybody and welcome back to Europa where we are currently fighting Canada and Canada's tough there's no doubt about it but we're winning this so we need to grab a couple of armies from here I think we should grab like three armies in each direction here so we're going to deselect until we've got three and we're going to take these guys out over here now we're going to grab some extra armies here we're going to deselect until we have three there we go and they're going to head down this direction and chase these guys down and then we've got what three armies here that divides up relatively evenly so we can have them come out over this direction now keep in mind force march is active and so we're not going to be regenerating morale or troops whilst on the move that is something that we need to remember So, out of curiosity, we know what we wanted out of Canada. I've restarted the game, so I have to redo this. We know that we wanted to grab, like, everything up over here, basically. Although we couldn't grab everything that we wanted over this way. We wanted something at least bare minimum. Like that. That's about what we wanted out of Canada. Okay, so that'll be fine. We can definitely work our way towards that. And these guys are currently reinforcing. I'm going to have them move up full, move up northward here. They did manage to successfully siege this, which is slightly unfortunate. These guys need to continue to pursue out this direction. And we're heading up here. Okay, that's fine. I do want to take a quick look at Canada's numbers here. 445k, 49k manpower. Noted. So Canada losing these battles is going to be very bad for it, right? We're going to spread out here and siege this back. Like, the problem with Canada in, in its current situation, in, in this current scenario, the problem with Canada is that they cannot reinforce their army to the level that they need to. We do need to march up this way. Like, they have a very large initial army. Oh, I want to sort by unity here. They have a very large initial arm. But we have a larger one. And they can't replenish their forces. Now, I'm going to spread these guys out and we'll regen some of these a little bit. We'll just give it a little bit of time here. Where are these guys retreating to? Okay, they're going this direction. That's fine. Beautiful. I'm going to give this one more month tick. And we won our siege here. Cool. These guys can all group up and head over this way. These guys are all going to head over this direction. These guys are going to head over here. And we'll continue to take territory from Canada over this way. Uh, do we go north here? We could go north here. I definitely want to make our way over this direction and deal with some of the forces that are over here. Beautiful. That was actually a stack wipe. They're moving into Red River here. I feel like we can maybe catch them. We're actually stack wiping a number of their forces here. Now, we didn't stack wipe here, but that's fine. This will stack wipe for sure. So Canada is rapidly losing forces, right? They're down to 278k now and 17k manpower. This war's over. This war is super, super over. Canada just doesn't know it yet. That's the way this is working. This is unsustainable for Canada. It is actually relatively sustainable for us. Not, like, permanently sustainable, right? We're going to take losses, and we'll run out of manpower eventually. But we're sustaining it better than they are, is the point. So I'm going to spread these guys out for now. We're making our way over this direction. A slightly awkward movements here. Noted. So if we look at Canada's numbers, they have gotten back up to 307k. So most of this loss that they've gotten in their manpower reserves has not been reinforcement. It has been creating new units from the stack wiped units. That is a big thing to note here. Now, these guys are currently heading down here. And we'll catch them there. Beautiful. So that's looking good. We are taking back these areas that Canada attacked. 
and we'll definitely move out over this way. Actually, let's move out over this way. Get this taken over. That'll do. This should stack wipe, I think. Just based on numbers? Yes, stack wipe. Beautiful. So we're going to head up over this way. Looks good. We do see Canadian armies regrouping over here. What are their current numbers? About 200, 300k. Noted. Are we scared of that? Not particularly, to be honest. We are not particularly scared about that. Cool. This war is going very well. We need to make our way up and take over their capital, of course. That is going to be a relatively high priority here. For now, we're taking back the territory that they took from us. But do we grab this admin tech? That would help our unbalanced research. I think we do grab it since we can do it. That'll also give us 2% production efficiency, which will be good for our economy. So I think overall that's fine. No major problems there. Too few seats in Parliament. Okay, uh, we also have a colonist not assigned somewhere. I want to take this back. Let's assign our colonist. Here would work. Beautiful. Okay, I'm going to group these guys together since we have no idea what's behind Sault Ste. Marie here. It's going to be very interesting. We're just going to group up a bit. Our truce with the U.S. is up. That's convenient, I suppose. If we wanted to attack the U.S., which right now, obviously, we don't. We're going to have some recovery to do after this Canadian war. But we are decidedly winning this war. Keep in mind, this is with ticking against us. Just taking their capital is going to be a big turn for us. So we're going to push in with this force here. The real question that I have is, where did their army go? We know it was grouping up in this area. And they've since dropped off the map. So that is a little bit dangerous. We need to stay a little close together here. And we'll find out. So we're going to push in and attack Toronto. And we'll continue to push in over on this side. Like, we're just slowly creeping in on their capital, right? That's what's happening here. We're just slowly pushing on over there. Now, we have no one set up down here. Which is a bit of a problem. We can definitely migrate this force down there, though. And I think that's exactly what we do here. So we just do something kind of like this. Ah, there's some Canadian forces. Okay, let's group up over here. We know that they're still in this area, then. We're going to prepare to fight them. We're going to go in here. And we're going to push in this direction. See if we can catch some of these forces before they can reinforce up here. Is the idea. And we did catch some of them. Beautiful. That is a stack wipe. And another stack wipe. That's two stack wipes there. I'm going to backtrack here and deal with these Canadian revolutionaries. We're going to let these guys lock in, and then we're going to go fight them back here. The Canadian army is now down to 242,000 troops. They're still holding at 17,000 manpower, which is interesting. So that's another pair of stack wipes, although it's deeply unsurprising that we stack wiped there. This is slightly scary in that we have low amounts right now of morale. Our, our morale is not amazing. Other Canadian revolutionaries? Ah, out over here. Okay, we'll have to go deal with those. That's fine. And we'll continue to press in over this way. Now. They're split up. We can do this. This is a much less scary proposition. Do it. Morale is still not absolutely great. We won that without stack wiping. And we should do the same here. We really do need to let morale regenerate. And we need to deal with these guys. That's no problem. There we go. Morale is a problem here. That's for sure. I'm going to move these guys in and reinforce this. 
Okay, actually, we don't need to. So we're going to move back out over this way, and these lads are going to head down over here again. So we just won a large series of battles against the Canadians. They're going to have a very hard time recovering from that. Like I said, this war is basically over at this point. We're going to spread these guys back out here. We're looking to regenerate morale here. Which is absolutely something that we need to do. And we need to be standing still to do that, remember. So that's fine. We're still pushing through Canada over here. And we're fighting these revolutionaries, no problem. We are going to attack British Cascadia, but not right now. We'll wait until this war is over, for sure. So, for the moment, I'm going to move in and we'll attack Ottawa. And we're kind of moving in a retrograde fashion here. And getting this filled in for the moment. Cool. So, we're keeping an eye on the Canadian troops out over this way. They have given us a fight, no doubt about that. But honestly, we've won this war quite thoroughly at this point. We're continuing to push in towards their capital here. That's the primary goal behind this army up here. And we can bring these guys southward now and fill in some of these gaps. These are going to have to head up this way, though. For the time being, that's okay. No additional revolutionaries out over here. Looks good. We're at 65% war score right now. They would not accept this current peace deal. They have 1,000 reasons not to. Demanding Minnesota without occupying any forts in the area. We had this before. This is literally fully occupied by us. I don't know why it's giving us that. Does it think we don't occupy this fort? I mean, we can get rid of it. I don't want the fort. Maybe that'll trigger it into uh, forgetting about that? Now it's talking about demanding this without controlling forts in the area. I feel like that's a bug. But let's full occupy Canada, just to be sure. If it's a bug, we can fix it via swapping to Canada via console and just offering it to ourselves. But uh, I, I would prefer not to do that. So I guess we'll just see if we full occupy Canada, if that does the trick. It might. I would definitely prefer not to use the console if we can avoid it. So we're keeping an eye on the Canadian numbers out over here. And we're just going to continue to press forward over this way. Beautiful. I want these guys to head into Albany, and we're going to continue to take over this New York area. We're pushing in towards their capital here. This is a little exposed over on this side right now. So I'm going to bring these guys northward. We're definitely slightly exposed here. We're going to take their capital here shortly. Beautiful. We lost a naval battle. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Portuguese Californian separatists spawning there? Uh, no, don't use the fleet. And that pushed our navy out. That's very rude. Well, we took their capital over here. And I'm going to move these guys down here. We're going to continue to take over territory over here while these guys push northward. There are some rebels over here that we'll need to deal with. Any additional rebels out here? Not that I see. It's saying that we can pass over this, but I don't think that's technically true. We'll gain a free stability. That looks good. And I want to continue to head up over here and occupy these areas. Naturally. We can try to attack over here. We have a slightly small force, and we don't know what's in this fog. So it is slightly risky to do. But it looks like they're just running away. Beautiful. That stack wiped. If that's the case, 153k now is their current troop count. If that's the case, I want to continue pushing in over here. So 
we're going to catch some of these forces, continuing to head up over here. We're going to be a little bit blocked from going on to some of these locations. 98% war score. Oh, they'd now accept this. Okay, so it looks like that bug has been fixed. And we don't need to go out over here. I like it. This is all the land we can take, and it's really all the land that we really want here. It gives us a land connection to British Cascadia. It gets rid of this exclave. I like it. Do it. It's only 5.8% overextension as well. So that's magnificent. We get an everlasting victory against Canada. And we're, of course, going to have to bring these guys on over. And we'll station some of our troops just kind of dotted around, right? Something kind of like this for now. We should probably have an extra unit up over here, but that's not a huge geographical area. Okay, so how many of these are not currently moving? I bet these guys aren't. Most of these are now. I want to select both of these. There we go. And we'll just move them out over here. Okay, so any of these that are not moving but are still in Canada. Here's one. Uh, okay, we'll call this good. Sure. So we do need to start coring here, and we'll core based on overextension first, and then based on cost, as usual. We can core a huge amount of this already, so that's good. 40 admin power. Yes, please. That allows us to get another core going. Beautiful. So that's a big chunk of Canada under our control, right? We're going to want to attack British Cascadia quite soon. I'm going to move these guys up over here, actually. Are we losing this battle? We're losing this battle. Okay, I don't want to get stack wiped there. Let's make our way in like so with this force. Okay. Peasants down over here. No shockers there. And we'll go deal with those. Beautiful. Are you actually moving? No, you're not. Come on over here. Cool. So we're exiting Canada here. We got what we wanted. And we win this battle. These guys are going to need to regenerate for a bit. But that's okay. Beautiful. There's a conversion done. And we're going to go position these guys out over here. Again, we're looking to attack British Cascadia here quite soon. So that looks good. I do want to core... Here is fine. Or rather, convert, I should say. There we go. We've only got a few cores left to make here, realistically. So that looks very solid. These guys are all in the same location. I'm going to spread them out for now. There we go. How are we doing with our primary fleet here? Did that ever get fully built? No. So we'll get that queued up to be a full 300, 300, 300. Sounds good. And we know that we lost our Pacific Transport Fleet. So I'm going to queue up an additional Pacific Transport Fleet over here. So we're going to get an East Indiaman over on this side. That'll be fine. Heretics converted. Always great. And do we actually want to convert here? Yes, we do. Okay. That'll be fine. Wait. It's never going to convert. We don't want to convert there. We want to convert down here. There we go. We'll get those underway. Perfect. We can get another core going, and so we shall. That looks good. Our debate failed. Okay, whatever. We need a new debate in Parliament, and a skill 3 Inquisitor would be pretty good, actually. So we could definitely bribe the National Parliament. We could do diplomatic support. I'm okay with that. Do we want to allow use of Crownlands? We can siege, or rather seize some Crownland. And then we can hop in here and allow use of Crownland. There we go. And government reform progress is, I guess, okay here. Exempt national impressment sounds good. Exempt national conscription. Yep. And that should do the trick. Cool. So when are we going to attack British Cascadia? Well, I do want to get a second army up over here. Totemus Zealots out over here. No problem. They are dealt with. And we're going to get all this coring done very, very soon here. Yeah, that's not too bad. We can definitely get these remade. I believe we should... Oh, we don't actually have a core on them. Interesting. I thought that we would still have a core, but apparently because they reverted, we lost our core. Fair enough. That makes sense. Okay, so we're going to bring up this army, and then we're going to attack British Cascadia. We will not suffer Britain to have territory in the Americas. 
We are, of course, going to eventually deal with Canada and the Southeast and Cuba. These are all things that we will attack. The question is, will we have time before the end of the game? And the answer to that is a solid maybe. We do need to take out these rebels, and that's actually kind of surprising that there's rebels again. I guess they rebelled not under us, so sure. I suppose that makes sense. Religion is a big problem for us right now. That's a big part of the reason why we do have these rebels. So we do need to work on that. And that's the reason why we're working on getting that missionary. We currently have a missionary strength as well. So I guess that's not that big of a deal. For some reason, I was thinking we didn't. Okay, well, it's fine. No real issues there. We'll continue to core these. Next month tick, we'll be able to get another core going. We have a missionary working here. So that's fine for now. We'll just work our way through these. Cool. Austria ended their revolution. I didn't realize Austria was under... Holy Austria, Batman. Okay, that's quite an Austria. Ottomans need to do something about that. <laughs> but they're currently doing something about Russia, which... They've been doing that this whole time. It's, it's not ideal. Ottomans are very strong. Would we be able to fight them? Honestly, no. We'd, well, we'd be able to maybe defend against them. But we would not be able to attack against them. That's for sure. Now, I do want to get some town halls going here. I guess only the one that's really good, but we'll build a bunch of these. Even though there are only three. I think that's fine. And these are building town halls now. Yeah, that's okay. So we're going to attack British Cascadia, right? And the question is when. The answer is now. We're, we're going to do this literally right now. So we're going to go in here. No problem. They cannot contest this. Uh, do we want to use our fleet to transport this? I thought we'd be able to just connect, but sure. Wait, what transport fleet is this sending? We should send this fleet over, probably. How many ships do they have? Two. I think it's fine. It should be okay. So what are we looking to do here? We are looking... Well, we can't actually... We can't actually sue for peace right now. We're looking to just full annex them, right? That's all we're looking to do here. So we'll attack up over here, and eventually our transports will get in here. For some reason, I was thinking there was a connection here. There, there is not. So that's fine. We'll send a missionary down over this way and continue to convert. And this is all under control. They're already suing for peace. But this is the peace deal that we want. They have a thousand reasons not to do that. But that's just because we don't have this fort occupied. And now we do. So they would now accept this. Beautiful. Do it. That is now under our full control. I love it. So we no longer need to send our fleet there. Where is that fleet at? You guys, you can come on back over this way. Beautiful. We are going to need to core these, of course. And that didn't get us any overextension, did it? No, it did not. Cool. So those cores will be done quite soon, really. And what else do we want to do here in the Americas? Well, we want to attack Cuba. That's a pretty high priority. And then we'll probably just attack the US and Canada again before the end of the game. That's kind of the plan here, I think. We're just looking to conquer the Americas. At this point, we're very strong, right? We are exceptionally strong. And that's very good. Poor Spain. Every time I look over here and look at what Spain has become, I'm just like, oh. I feel bad. <laughs> this happened because of us. Spain was really well positioned until we just took over all of their colonies. And then they just lost because they invested everything in their economies. Or rather, in their in their colonies. It's very sad for them. Very sad indeed. But happy for us. So that's good. It is about time to put a cut in here. And let's grab maritime ideas and just finish that off. It is about time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're likely to attack Cuba. Quite soon. 
You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings, and a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, James, Shadow Wolf, Mlohan80, Rogue Corvid, Kintogan, Andy Magar, Spartan News, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Soccerman12UK, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video, and as always, I will see you all next time.